everybody what's up welcome back to another borderlands 3 video and today we're going to be going over uh i'm pretty sure this yeah this grenade was recently buffed that is going to be none other than the hex grenade right you got the good old trusty uh recurring hex really really good uh if you could get a mitosis one that'd be that one would be even better uh but you know We'll roll with the uh, the recurring one for now, right? Split into two, spawn three murders at home, which is very, very, very good. 25 grenade throw is really solid as well. Uh, they do, they have an automatic ch uh, chance to crit, which is pretty, pretty nice. Combine that with the Minesweeper, we're gonna be able to pretty do some uh, massive, massive work here. Also, if you do wanna go ahead and farm for it, uh, then it has a high chance to drop from the Sky Bullies over in the Anvil on Eden 6. Uh, do keep that in mind. However, it can be a world drop as well, which is pretty, pretty solid. Uh, so the setup we're gonna be trying to play around with, we're gonna be using a uh, radiation old god. We have a max fire in the skagged in setup. We're trying to give our mitosis or our recurring hex grenade some extra fire damage. We are gonna play with the atom bomb deathless as well with some radiation AOE damage. And then if we go down a lot because of not using a blood letter, then we'll switch over to said blood letter uh, right here, and that would be pretty nice. We'll probably be uh, playing around with the uh, the plague bear as well. Uh, not this one. Where is the fifty? Where's the U Red Plague Bear? Yeah, I'll put that on instead. There we go. Oh, this also needs to be. Hold on, I want to make sure that I have all my 5150 weapons. Where's the. I just saw it, dude. I just saw it. There it is. Uh, and then here's all, like, our Demolition Woman Tree. You know what I'm saying? A pretty standard setup that I always go to. I uh, just really love do getting uh, that sweet, sweet, sweet short fuse, uh, which is very, very solid as well. Uh, plus, you know, it means destruction, pull the holy pin, torch cross promotion, fire in the skag, and all that good stuff is in there. Shield of Retribution, get that max running and brass, get all the way down into desperate measures. And then here is our bottomless max tree, pretty, uh, pretty simple over there. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead, uh, play around mostly in just the uh, Malawan takedown and inside of the Guardian takedown for just a little bit. This video is not going to be too, too long because it's just uh, it's just a video going over a grenade rather than a whole weapon. So we're, we're going to give uh, an entire uh, like long showcase to it. It's going to be it's going to be a lot quicker and stuff. Plus, you know, we will have some help from things like our Plague Bear and uh, good stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, guys, also. Uh, if y'all have been enjoying the content recently, make sure to subscribe, guys. We do post daily Borderlands 3. Uh, so if you do like daily Borderlands 3, then a subscription is really appreciated. Trying to hit 5,000 subs uh, by the end of the year. So, yeah. Uh, also, dude, can we just take a moment to understand that, like, they're going to drop the new skill trees uh, the day uh, of Beyond Light. Now, I know a lot, of, a lot of you guys probably don't play Destiny. However, uh, I have... Uh, I've been planning uh, on like playing Destiny all day that day for like three three months now, right? So I don't really know how I'm gonna balance uh, Beyond Light and the uh, the new skill trees for Borderlands. Oh, uh, I'm basically just gonna have to devote my time the most to whichever one has the uh, the most grind, and then I can do videos and stuff. Still play both of them, but just do uh, videos on like the one with the least grind. Uh, which I honestly think will probably be Borderlands, uh, just because uh, it's not like, um, well, I say that, but there's also a new game mode. I don't know. We'll have to play. We're gonna. We're, we'll see, dude. I'm gonna have to play that. That's gonna be a decision I play by ear. Uh, yeah, but that'll be uh, pretty intense for sure, for sure. Also, though, oh, let me get it just not get toasted. Yeah, Plague Bear is really, really good at proc means destruction better than the uh, hex grenades are. But uh, yeah, dude, having them create with the mind sweep grenades is also really, really nice as well. I've been harping on these for like a hot minute now. I was there was a good set of videos where I was using these over the CMTs, uh, just because like I was just they were just generally that much fun, and they were like that really ki killing it. And they didn't even have the uh, their buff at the time, which is pretty impressive. So now like you know we're in the Guardian takedown, and we're just kind of uh, going in for it, dude. We don't even have a blood letter. We literally have a mind sweeper deathless setup right now. That's generally untraditional for me. I generally like never do stuff like that. Also, guys, uh, how have y'all been uh, doing uh, on the Oz Bloody Harvest? Uh, yeah, I, I bet some of you guys are still hunting for uh, Benigator gas calls. 
Uh, I've seen in some of the comments that uh, a lot of you guys have uh, actually gotten some pretty good, uh, some pretty good gear, which is always you know really nice, really nice. You love to see it, which is obviously very, very good. Uh, also, dude, yeah, the uh, the patch on the fifteenth really, really buffed uh, like a lot of stuff. They buffed things like the Sleeping Giant. They buffed things like the Skull Master, the Spinner, the Infinity, the Flood, the Garcia, the Redline, the Companion. Like they, dude. There was so many things that they buffed, uh, which is pretty awesome. Which I'll go with every, you know, things get buffed and stuff like that. Uh, anyways, guys, we're gonna head straight to the Malawan takedown. Uh, I'm just gonna try and like throw like five minutes of footage in there. Uh, I don't want this video to be too too long. So yeah, let's go ahead and head straight on over. All right, so we are over here in the uh, Malawan takedown side of things. Gonna spend a little bit of time cooking some of these enemies up with just our uh, hex grenades. Oh uh, yeah, dude. I mean, I've been on these grenades a lot. And uh, it's pretty nice that they even got a buff. I mean, dude, who remembers back in Mayhem 3 when these things were like the main way uh, to just clear everything before uh, before they had their uh, their nerf way back then on like uh, October of 2019, uh, which is crazy, dude. We're moving through time, bro, just casually, man. It's crazy how fast shit, uh, shit flies, dude. Honestly, but uh, yeah, dude. Honestly, dude, it's good to see the extra nays getting some love. Honestly. All right, y'all. So. Oh, we're over here on the bridge side of things now. Uh, now these hexes, bro, they should uh, they should do uh, some pretty good uh, some stuff here. They might down us a little bit, but uh, that's that's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm gonna try and shoot the plague bear like not overwhelmingly. I'm mostly just trying to use it just to get uh, ammo whenever we need it, because I do want the hex grenades to do uh, most of the uh, the work, obviously, because you know that is the uh, point of the video. But of course, you know if need be, you know I will uh, shoot our plague bear because you know bro, plague bear who doesn't. It's dude. It's this type of gameplay, bro. Whenever you're just blowing everything up, is when the, the game is just like so much fun. Like this is why like I love playing mode so much, because like you can just infinitely do stuff like this. Like <laughs> whenever someone makes a Borderlands 3 retrospective, make sure to include how fun Mose is. Whenever you have her rockets and her freaking grenades going everywhere, it's so much fun. I guess we'll just go ahead and uh, cut over to Wotan. But uh, yeah, dude, uh, the hex grenade the I'm glad this thing got a buff, man, honestly. I, I've been a, a big fan of this grenade, so yeah. Let's go ahead and, and head straight over to Wotan. All right, you guys. So, we are over here at the Wotan Schmotan Smackdown. Uh, so, yeah, dude. Let's go ahead and see what our hex, our hex grenade can do against uh, Wotan. Uh, we'll definitely need to uh, use uh, our Plague Bear here to help out our hexes just because, you know... Uh, well, Don does uh, his armor, so yeah, naturally does resist radiation. So uh, yeah, uh, maybe if we didn't have a radiation one, it'd be a little, little bit stronger. But uh, it's whatever, dude. We we have a plague bear for a reason, you know. So I'm not really tripping because you know plague bear is, is you know one of the best you know rockets in the game. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, uh, how many of y'all have uh, like used the extra nade before? Uh, I know there's some people that probably never even used it. Uh, just because, like, you know, either they came in after, you know, after it got its nerf way back when, uh, just, like, fell in love with the CMTs, maybe they, like, just never even gave it a shot or something, you know. Uh, you know, you, you never know, you never know, you can always ask, you know, it never hurts to ask. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Wotan, dude, I'm sorry this went from getting tickled by the hex grenades to just getting bullied by the, uh, Plague Bear, but, uh, yeah, man, you, you earned it. You, you earned it, Wotan. You earned this for sure. Oh, come on, dude. Where you going, homie? He, he's panicking. Wotan's panicking. He's, he's, he's jumping like crazy. Yeah, dude. Just, that's just, aww, what is this? We gotta hit it. We gotta hit this little black part right here. That's still, that's where, he, like, in the code he's at. Yes, we did it. All right, well. So, how does that still happen almost a year into to this being existence? <laughs> But uh, let's go ahead and look over our setup real quick, real quick, simple. Got a recurring hex, radiation AOE on the atom bomb, old god, minesweeper, five out of five, grenade damage, splash damage, splash damage radius, and then here's our bottomless max tree, demolition woman tree, and then our beautiful shield of retribution. Uh, and then, yeah. Guys, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. If y'all did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if y'all are new. On the road to 5,000 subs, trying to hit that by the end of the year. So if you like Daily Borderlands, then make sure to subscribe. Anyways, though, guys, my name is Cree. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.